Okay. So the second paint that I'm going to demonstrate the making of, the second watercolour, um, is Cinquasia Red Gold. Um, Cinquasia Red Gold is classed as a synthetic organic pigment, so sort of um, manufactured pigment. Um, but it behaves very much like an iron oxide, uh, a hematite really. Um, it's got a beautiful, beautiful staining quality here. Um, with beautiful flow, very ease of flow, it just kind of whooshes across the paper. And then there are elements of it that are much slower, much that drag much more heavier, grittier um, areas here. So best of both worlds really. Um, so you get the dark, dark areas through to a golden glow. Beautiful. So for this one, um, I'm going to be using a glass muller um, because the um, the pigment is much lighter and sort of fluffier and also it's quite resistant to the medium so um, it kind of puffs up and doesn't want to be captured so um, I roll it round uh, once it's wet and in a paste roll it round between the surface of the glass plate underneath and the surface of the, the muller. Okay. So I'll put a small mound of the pigment and then make a little indent to hold the medium. And this is a, it's a more traditional, no, not much traditional at all, <laughs> a more modern um, watercolour medium. Um, it's acrylic based um, and it makes a much more matte paint. Um, Homogenises um, the behaviour of the pigment um, more, but um, it's really good for getting large amounts of paint um, if you're work working over a large area, you can make quite a large um, quantity of paint um, to cover sort of yeah, two meters square almost. Um, move it round and make it into a paste. You see it resisting a little bit. There we go, pull it in. Smear it round. Oops. Pull it back into the centre, try and catch all those bits. So it's feeling a bit dry, so I add a bit more of the medium. And with this one, um, you it doesn't seem to matter with this medium. It doesn't seem to matter if you put too much in, it just becomes a much more open, a more transparent paint rather than a denser paint. Um, Obviously, if you haven't got enough, then that's problematic. Problematic, but if you've got too much, it seems fine. So it really just depends on the feel that you want. Okay, so that's feeling much smoother now. Feels lovely. And then let's give it a good old roll around with the mullet. Okay, I always use a sort of figure of eight, and I find that if it starts to stick, I need a little bit more medium. There we go. And then there we go, just keep rolling around. I mean, I'm not too fussy, really, um, about getting everything completely and utterly um, bound. Quite like it when you have clusters and clumps um, in the final paint out. But what I do love with the muller, especially with these really transparent looking pigments, is you get this beautiful golden glow when you press hard. Look at that, beautiful, wow. And then through to the dark, really dark bits here around the edge. So I guess I think that's it. Now with this one, I can't go straight. I suppose I could, but I haven't got the room um, to paint out. So I'm going to have to um, stop the film and clean up and then paint out. So hold on a sec. I'll do that in a minute. OK, so I've cleaned up a bit and now it's time to, uh, to do the paint out. OK, so a pretty wet piece of paper again. And then I'll re-wet it. Um, this time, um, with my paint mixture, I've 
already worked it a little bit with water um, just because it helps the flow um, with this one and then there we go look at that look at that wow superb <laughs> i always get a bit excited um yeah look at that it's beautiful beautiful flow um and then tip the paper a bit and look how it moves and separates you can see on this side of the paper where you can see the gritty bits there um wonderful look at that beautiful might blob a bit more up here on the top just going to keep more dense for when it dries see the differences there we go beautiful lovely okay so here's the dried paint out um we've got a lovely area here it comes all travel down here of the kind of much darker blacky brown um grittiness um, very slight grittiness it's got caught in the paper um like a swoop of smoke and then here we've got where the darker areas have gathered around there and some really lovely crispy crunchy <laughs> um blacky bits here and then the lovely sort of swoop of the more staining quality of the orangey reddy area with a lovely sort of golden glow um, in the center here and here's the Cinquasia red gold um, put into practice um, in a watercolor painted over a sort of Naples yellowy color colored ground um, so in these bits here we've got really lovely kind of striations of black um, blacky red blacky brown um, of the grittiness here the dense areas and then um, much more of a glow and here's sort of like almost like a beam of light through the clouds and then some lovely kind of water creeps sort of veiny quality here but a real a really really beautiful glow uh, coming from this fantastic pigment <laughs> 